Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Hello, Carla. Good afternoon. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, William? Fine, teacher. Good, good. Thank you. Uh, are you going to work right now? Did you go to work today? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Estás trabajando. It's good. Listo, ya, ya. Salí. Ah, ok, ok, good. Entonces no, no te han suspendido el trabajo, sino que... Ah, no, me va a mandar no. el ¿Mande? Ahí ¿Ah? recuerdo también. Ah, ok, perfecto. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Eh, no la escucho. Eh, creo que tiene mute. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good, thank you. Thank you. I am doing okay. Good. Okay, good, good. Here we are uh, at the house. I no, have I have I had a work. I had a work. Oh. I had to. Ah, okay. You, right now you're at work. Yes. No, 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 oh. but I'm Today. going to work every day. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, let's give a, let's wait two minutes for, for the class. Okay. okay. Sí, eso, y vamos a empezar con un speaking. Okay, so today, what we're going to do is speaking simple past. So we're going to do questions in the simple past. Okay, so let me share my computer so that you can see my, uh, para que vean la estructura. Dramática que vamos a usar. So let me open Word. Ok, very good. So, vamos a hacer preguntas con el simple past. El simple past del verb to be. So, what is the simple past of is? What is the past of is? Was. 
Was. Was and where? Very good. Was, right? También la puedo poner en negativo. Was. Okay, good. And what is the, the simple past of R? Where? Correct. Where? Okay. I can also say in negative. Weren't. Were, weren't. Uh-huh. Correct. Okay. Excellent. So we can do questions with the simple past. We can say, for example, if I want to ask about the past, uh, where you in were you at work today? Yeah. Were you at work today? Bongo? Yes, I was. Yeah, I, yeah, I was. Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I was. Uh huh. Yes, I was. Very good. Por qué respond, respondo con was? Y aquí usé were. Okay. Recuerden, si yo, you, si yo uso um, eh, you, eh, hablando de otra persona, siempre voy, voy a usar were. Okay. Si yo uso I, was at work. Okay. So another question using was. Okay. Was she at work today? Yes, she was. Okay. So lo que lo que vamos a hacer es uno de los ejercicios. Questions with the verb to be. Es el verb to be, sí. Only that it's in the past. No estamos usando is, are, sino que estamos usando el pasado, the is and are. Were you at work yesterday? Was she at work today? Okay. Pueden pensar en otra? Can you give me an example? Eh... Cualquiera, was or were. Eh, el pasado. I can think in English. Okay. Was he walking? Oh, was he doing exercises? Right? Okay. Exercise. Was he doing exercises? Very good. Yes, he was. Or, in negativo, no, he wasn't. Okay? Another question? Pardon. Where Another. they go? Where they go to the school? Were they going? Going. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. Yes. 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 Comer carne. ¿Cómo? Perdón, no te escucho. Es que hay mucha bulla atrás. ¿Ah? Where you eat mix today? Eat. Eat de comer. Exacto. Uh -huh. Mix, mix carne. Ah, yes. Were you today. eating? Solo que tenemos que tener un verb to be. Were you eating meat? today yes good question yes do you see algo in common ing 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 yeah were you eating meat today yes i was in negativo no no i wasn't uh-huh negative correct Positive, teacher, negative. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. eh, la estructura, ¿cómo, cómo es? ¿Cuál? 
eh, o sea, es verb to be. Subject, la que estamos viendo ahorita. Subject, Más. verb, en, 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 I, en, G, en, I, ¿cómo es? I, en, J. I, en, G. O sea, la estructura, la estructura para hacer la oración, ¿cómo mm -hmm. debería de ser? Verb to be. Verb to be. Plus subject. subject plus. Plus verb. Normal verb, así normal. Y agregarle el ing. Ing. Plus. Plus. Cual, cualquier complemento. Que, cualquier complemento que uno quiera tener. When, when we use the past, always use verb with ing. Eh, en algunos casos sí. Eh, si estoy hablando de acciones con, continuas, por ejemplo, uh -huh. estabas yendo al, al trabajo o estabas haciendo ejercicio o estabas comiendo o estabas corriendo, estabas hablando por teléfono ahora. Es, que es, es el pasado, pero es como una acción continua en el pasado. Te estoy preguntando si estabas comiendo, estabas hablando, estabas, estabas manejando. Were you driving? Uh -huh. el, el, entonces, el, el, la forma del, del, del pasado, del verb to be, uh -huh. o sea, es que me, me confunde. Porque, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, eh, yo fui a México el año pasado. Ah, ah pero aquí, was... acuérdate que estas son preguntas. Aquí estamos haciendo preguntas. Uh -huh. Ese ejemplo que me acabo okay, de dar... Sí. Es afirma, si es positivo. Pregunta, estuviste, I was si fuiste a México. Uh, you can say, did you go to Mexico? Que también es, es uh -huh. simple past, aunque uso did aquí, también es simple past. Ok. Were you flying? Traveling, mejor. Were you traveling to Mexico last year? También. Mm -hmm. O puedo decir, did. You go did you Mexico. go to Mexico? Okay. Now, ¿cuál es la diferencia en cuanto al tiempo? Simple past. Y este es simple past. Pero es eh, eh, el past continuous, perdón. Past continuous. Past continuous. Okay. okay. Pero past continuous. Okay. Aquí lo que okay. le quiero enseñar es usando hacer preguntas con was y were. Okay, very good. So, um, hicimos preguntas aquí usando was, aquí usando were. Was he doing exercise? Yes, he was. Were they going to school? Yes, they were. Were you eating meat today? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's go to uh, let's go to the lesson. Uh, we're doing. Uh, let me see. Quiero quiero ver más o menos por dónde están. Uh, ¿Dónde están ustedes? Más o menos. ¿En qué? Uh, Two point uh, nine. Okay, 2.9. Veronica, 2.9. Yes, eh, teacher, but I have a, a question about uh -huh. some, some section that I, that I only have to see the video, but I don't understand the exercise. Okay, eh, 2.9. You have a question there? No, it's not there. Uh, Está en no, lo voy a buscar donde, porque no es ahí. Ah, okay. So, eh, solo quiero saber más o menos por dónde andan. Eh, Verónica, 2.9, por ahí. Carla, ¿por dónde anda? Yes. 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 2.9. Okay, good. William, where are you? Me quedaba más o menos en el 2.4, si no me equivoco. Okay, tenía okay. Ese, pero tenía una duda. Ajá. Ajá. En, en el 2.4. La en el 2.4. Ok. En una, en una que estaba igual a la 1.11. Ok. Ok. 
Ok, entonces eh, vamos, a, vamos a aclarar esas dudas para que así puedan continuar, ok. Ya vamos a regresar allí, William. Uh, Gladys, ¿por dónde andas? En la plataforma. Gladys. 2.9. 2.9, ok. También ahí. Ah, igual como Verónica y Carla. Eh, José, ¿por dónde va? Eh, como recién me crearon el usuario, apenas completando el 1. Ok, ok, pero tenemos que adelantar porque ya vamos a terminar las dos. Ok. Bueno, ok. So, eh, ¿dudas sobre la sección 1? Creo que ahora aclaramos algunas de algún ejercicio. Sí. José, ¿usted que está ahí? ¿No? Eh, no, por el momento no. Ok. De la sección 2, ¿dudas? Eh, vamos a empezar con William. William, ¿dónde estás? ¿Te acordás el número? Ah, ahorita sección. estoy chequeando, teacher. Ok. Carla, questions, tenías una pregunta en el 2.13, no, no, 2.9. Sí, sí, es más, más adelante. Ah, 2.13. No. Teacher. Sí, en ah, el doble quién... check. Ah, sería el 2.12. 2.11 uh -huh. no sería. 2.13. Ok, vamos a tomar la de William. William, ¿dónde estás? ¿2.11? 2.11, Tisha. Ah, pero 2.11 solamente es el objetivo de la lección. Ahí creo que solo tienes que leer. Uh -huh. Teacher, creo que está mal. Ah, yo, este es el otro. Usted está en otro. Ah, perdón, perdón. <ríe> Gracias. En el carro pego con la cabeza. Perdón, perdón, estoy en la clase eh, anterior. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, in the number 2.3, uh, there, 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 there is a video, but we, we, we only have to, to watch the video, only that. Or we have to uh, add a pause. Okay, 2.3, ya vamos a ir allí. Eh, voy a vamos a ir así eh, por persona y aclarar las dudas que tiene cada persona. So, William, ok, no se desesperen, solo vamos a aclarar las dudas rápido. Esto va a ser rápido. William, tú eh, me dijiste 2.11. Ok, y Verónica, eh, vamos a ir después de ahí al 2.3 y después. Eh, eh, Carla tiene la cuestión con el, el 2.13 y así vamos a ir, rapidito, para seguir adelante. Ok, es, aquí está William, mira, tienes que so, usar solamente was or were. Hay dos casos que son negativos, pero no te voy a dar todas las eh, respuestas. Eh, eh, negative, <ríe> negative, la, vista, la, <ríe> la 9. Where. Ok, no te voy a dar toda la respuesta, quiero que trates. Ok, pero es solamente el, el uso de was o were, solo una palabra. Y eh, hay dos, de esas diez hay dos que tienen weren't and wasn't, que son negativos. Ok, eh, ¿quién más? Eh, Carla, 2.9. No, perdón. Sí, no, 2.3. La suya era 2.3. La 2.13. Es que no puedo contestar las, las... Es que como no me queda claro el pas del to be. Ok. Eh, William, tú me dijiste... Deja ver, deja ver, solo quiero ver algo. Yeah, Esa era, ¿verdad? La que tenías pregunta. La... Una tengo, ¿qué? La cuatro tengo dudas, dicha. La sección 4. Pero el 2.11 es la que le estaba diciendo. Ah, la 2.11. Ok. Ay, ok, Carla. Um, ¿Ya trataste de, de contestar aquí? Uh, 
Sí, pero solo, no, no sé, he tratado de todas las formas y no he podido contestar las, eh, las correctas. O sea, no me sale correcto, me he perdido ahorita. Aquí está, okay. sí, ya lo hallé. El 2.13 no... Es este, no, ¿verdad? No. El que dice listening exercise. Sí, el listening. El listening okay. exercise. Ajá. Entonces okay. solo he podido contestar San Francisco y las, y las próximas tres no he podido. Ok, entonces... Carla, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh -huh. Ahí solo se escribe. Where did Jason go? Yo creo que aquí, por ejemplo, did he enjoy it? Yes, he did. Or... Mister, no. solo es yes. Solo es yes or no. Yes. Solo es yes. Va, esa es la una. Es, no, no, really? Yo no la he escuchado. Yo no la he escuchado. Solamente te, te estoy diciendo que en estas preguntas de did... Es solamente yes or no. The did. Ok. Ok. Ahí está. Ok, very good. <laughs> Thanks. Pues, sí, yo, es una short answer porque es el, el did. Puede ser yes o puede ser yes he did or no he didn't. Pero tal vez la plataforma solo quiere un yes or no. Yes. Ok, ok. Thanks. Uh, William me dijo... Ya vamos Yo a ir, creo que pero... como no hemos recibido bien esa clase, quizás por eso estamos Ajá. confundidos. William, este es el 2.11. Tú tenías pregunta con la, con la 4. Sí, sí. Teacher. Es negativo. Es nega Trata el verb to be en negativo. Eh, Verónica, me dice 2.3. Yes, I have a, a, a question in English. Okay. But uh, in some uh, in some session we only have to watch the video. This is the home. Yes, es solamente aquí. Eh, por veces dan una instrucción aquí, por ejemplo, al final. Eh, si quieren lo vamos a ver. Es rapidito este video. De todos modos, por ahí estamos nosotros ahorita en la clase. So, vale la pena verlo. No, I didn't. This takes us. In this session, single class question and answer will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay. Very good. Eh, Verónica, solamente es ver el video, ¿ok? 
solamente ver el video. Aquí hay unos eh, estudiantes que han puesto como alguna, algunos ejemplos. Eh, si tú quieres, tú puedes poner algunos ejemplos. Eh, pu puedes poner add a post en el título. Aquí en esta sección de título, poner tu nombre. Y aquí puedes poner las preguntas como le, Did you cook yesterday? Okay. Y preguntas con el verb, to, eh, verb did. El verb did es el verbo auxiliar. Significa que ya no es necesario poner lo demás en el pasado, los otros verbos en el pasado. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque ya did me menciona que ya está en el pasado. Me señala que ya está en el pasado. Sí, eh, Gladys. Ajá. Question. Eh, estás en mute. Hay, hay, hay alguna regla que uh -huh. diga que solo voy a contestar yes or no, porque yo al final, ese era mi problema con esa pregunta, o sea, uh -huh. con la última de 2.13, uh -huh. que uh -huh. le escribíamos tal cual decía la norma, yes, uh, I did, ah. ajá, pero, y eso hacía que salía mala. Al poner solo yes, vimos que, que, que salía buena. Entonces, ¿hay alguna regla? Porque en lo que acaban de explicar, dice, uh -huh. yes, I did. Sí. Fíjate que eso, eso es elección de la plataforma. La elección de, de, de la plataforma. Pero no estaría malo contestar, yes, yes, I did. Eh, cualquiera de las dos formas está correcta. Ok. okay. Allí creo Teacher, que fue quizás, simplemente la, la elección de la plataforma, como ellos la crearon uh -huh. ese ejercicio. Uh -huh. Sí, pero me hicieron pensar. Uh -huh. Sí, yo, ta yo también tenía una pregunta ahí que le hicimos a, a Jonathan. Ok, very good. So, Verónica, ¿puedes hacer eso? Poner, ok. Poner algunas yes. preguntas ahí. Y, y eso, este, es, este post todos los podemos ver. All right, very good. So, si Thank tú quieres ponerlo y decirme, teacher, vaya a revisar el post, yo lo, yo lo reviso. Ok. Ok, all right. Ok, uh, another question. ¿Alguien más de alguna sección de la dos? No. Nope. ¿Questions? No. Nope. Ok, very good. So, practiquemos este, porque veo que casi nadie ha puesto post. No es, no es obligatorio, pero lo podemos practicar ahorita. Ok. So, Vayan a 2.3, 2.3, and let's do some questions with did. Give me maybe three to five questions. Unas tres a cinco preguntas with did. Trabajémoslo solo, individual, y nos quedamos aquí conectados. Ok. Lo, eh, voy a parar de compartir mi pantalla. Cada quien puede ir a, a la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to put mine too. I'm going to put some questions too. Did she try to have a job yesterday? Okay, I'm going to put the five minutes time. Did they, did they?
Okay, le voy a leer las mías. I'm going to read my questions. Did you cook yesterday? Did you hear the news? Did you go to the party? Did you study the lesson? Okay. Teacher, el DIR es independiente de la persona. Puede ser para she, para we, para they. Yes. Sí. Ese verbo auxiliar aplica para todos los sujetos. All subjects. Did he, did she, did they, did you? Yes. Okay, two minutes, two minutes. Teacher, mm -hmm. I, 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 I have it. Okay. I finished. Very good. Let me check. Okay, uh, Carla, read your questions for us. Okay. Let me, one minute, please. Uh, ahorita. Uh, did you go to the gym? Um, mm -hmm. Did you like work? Did you stay in house? Did they go to the church? Mm -hmm. Did he play piano? Okay, good, good job. Okay. And in the primera eh, falta, did you go to the gym? To the gym. Mm -hmm. También okay. en la en la segunda en la número tres también. Did you stay in the house? In the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, good. Veronica, you want to read yours? Veronica, are you there? You want to read your questions? Okay, alguien más ya ya hizo el post. Okay. Yo pero no sé si están buenas. Okay, read it. Read it. Did you tell for cell for cell phones cell phones tonight? Okay. Did she dance in the party? Okay. Did, did he wash your car every Saturday? Okay. Did, did my mother watch TV now? Okay. Did okay. she break tomorrow for coronavirus? Okay, good, good. Eh, ponele post, ahí después voy a verlas en escrito. ¿Dónde? Allá en eh, la discusión. Sí, en la discusión. Es que solo veo Verónica y Carla. Ok. No, pues. eh, voy a 
Voy a refrescar la página a ver si sale. Las demás. Ok, let's check, let's check. No, only Verónica en Carla. Ya volví, teacher. ¿Ah? Ya volví, estaba en una llamada importante. Ah, ok, ok, estaba. You were in another conference. Ok, very good. So, uh, put the post, if you're not finished, put the post there. And let's go to, let's go to the next lesson. Let's continue. Ok. Okay, then you have 2.4. Let's do exercise 2.4. Uh, look, uh, I'm going to share my computer screen so that you can look at it. Okay. Okay, I'm sharing my computer screen here. You have to use did and then the verb. The ah, verb okay. that we use is, um, is, is in the simple, uh, simple present form. So, number one. Esto ya lo hicimos. Creo que sí. Yes. Ya lo hicimos. Yes, okay. I did. Ok, ¿todos ya lo hicieron? Yes. Ok, very good. So, voy a tomar yes, su palabra. Teacher. ¿Ah? Todo, todo bien. ¿Ya lo hiciste, William? Claro que sí. Yes. Ah, good, good, good. Ok, let's go to 2.6. Uh, let's go to the video. Here, eh, no, este ya, este ya lo vimos también ayer. So let's go to 2.8. Okay. okay. We're, going to list, we're going to listen to this conversation here. We're going to use how and verb to be past. How was okay. your vacation? So we use how and was, el verb to be en el pasado. Eh, puede ser otro WH question también. Okay. Okay, very good. So let's, uh, let's watch this video. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation when past of B is used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. Mm -hmm. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the pass of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. For the time. So, did you find the verb to be in the simple past? Yes. Did, did you see it? Donde esta? Was. Yes, was. was your, how was your vacation? Oh, was, it was was excellent. I went to Hawaii. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long where where were you were you there? About a, about a week. Fantastic. Was was the was the weather okay? Not really. It, it was. was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were, were amazing. So what was, was the, best. the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Very good. So do you see? I can use. Sometimes, en algunos casos, eh, la pregunta empieza con, directamente con was or were. For example, here, was the weather okay? Okay. That mm -hmm. is yes or a no answer. You say yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Okay. But look, here, 
you have WH question. WH question in front of you. WH question in front of you. How long? Okay. WH question. What was? Mm -hmm. So say unen. Ven como en algunos casos puedo usar el was or a word for questions. Mm -hmm. The answer is yes or no. But sometimes I can use WH in front. Okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for that? El uso mm -hmm. de eso? No. Okay, good, good. So let's go to the next lesson. This is 2.8. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this is 2.8. Let's go to 2.9. In this video, she's going to talk about the past of B. Que es el was a word que inicié la clase explicando esto. So um, let's let's watch the video, and if you have any questions, we can talk after the video. I was. Okay. Was the weather okay? Participate. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Were. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay. Very good. So, using the... ¿Vieron la estructura? ¿Cómo, cómo le explicó ella? You use was or were plus subject Plus, uh, no, plus a uh, complement. Okay. Where you, for example, yeah, complement. So, for example, you can say, were you happy yesterday? Were you happy yesterday? Oh. Were you late to work today? Mm -hmm. uh, were you talking, were you driving, driving to work this morning? Were you driving to work this morning? Okay, very good. Y pueden continuar. We use the verb to be with uh, at the beginning to make questions examples with was was she mad at you was she mad at you okay was he um, was he eating breakfast this morning okay and we can continue, we can continue. 
Okay, so let's do an activity, okay? Uh, you're gonna go into groups, let's do a speaking activity, and you're going to ask three questions to your partner Okay. with, uh, with word, okay? Uh, for example, were you, uh, were you eating this morning? Uh, were you sad this morning? Were you happy this morning? Okay. So okay. try to make questions to your partner. All right. So let's go into groups. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's make three groups of two. Okay. Uh, accepting la invitación. Okay. Accept the invitation so you can go to your group. Hello. Okay, Jose, está ahí? Are you there, Jose? I'm here, sí. Okay. Okay. Exercise is you're going to ask questions with the verb to be. In three the past. or four. Three or four. Three. Let's do three. 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 Okay. Uh, Jose. Were you happy yesterday? Uh, I am happy every day. Okay, yeah. but what what about yesterday? Ayer, past. Were you happy yesterday? Uh, me perdí. <laughs> Perdón. Don't think in Spanish. Think in English. Correct, correct. Sí. Were you happy yesterday? So yes. your answer has to be in the past. Yesterday is now. No, yesterday. Yesterday. Ayer. Yes, yes, yes. So your yes. answer has to be in the past. Me perdí, me perdí, porque ando haciendo tareas por otro lado y viendo la clase. Mm, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry, no. sorry, sorry. Se, se va a perder así. Sí, so sí, fo sí. focus on what we're doing. Okay. okay. okay Katia. Tengo que... okay. Perdón. Can you ask me the questions? Jose, listen. Listen to my response. Katia, ask me the questions. Okay. Uh, would you, would you like to work today? Yes. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I didn't go to work yes. today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Another, say, another question? Uh, okay. Uh, were you eating this morning? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, was. Uh, uh -huh. El pasado, Jose. Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Sí, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. I was, yes, I was. Okay, very good. Now, Jose, can you ask Katia a question? Ask her three questions. Um, where, 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 where are you working? Uh, where are you working in the computer? Okay, good. Yes. Were you working in the computer? Yes, I was. Yes, I was working in the computer. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh huh. Another question? Um, were you? Toda tiene que pesar, were you? Because you're speaking uh -huh. in the past and you're speaking we, to you. We were you 
is it running in, in the morning? Uh, no, I wasn't and running in the morning. Okay, very good. Oh. One more, one more question, Jose. Were you? Were, were you? Where, where, where? Um, desayuno. Breakfast. 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 Where? Where you? Where you? Where you refer? Te falta un verbo ahí. Were you? Eating. 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 Yes. Eating. 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 Where were you? Eating. Were you eating brave breakfast to seven o'clock? Okay. No. Yes. Creo que es mala pregunta, no, 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 it's la correct. Bien. It's correct. Yes. Es correct. Were you eating yes. breakfast at seven o'clock? Yes, oh. I was eating breakfast at seven o'clock. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. Okay. Good job, good job. Let's <laughs> Thanks. Let's go back. <laughs> okay. Me. Okay, ya vamos a regresar. I'm going to go back. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, very good. We're back. Okay. Okay, I want to hear some of the questions uh, that you did to the group. Sorry, solo pude ir a un grupo. Me quedé bastante tiempo allí dándoles la ayuda a ellos. So, let me check. Let me hear other questions from other groups. Yeah? Okay. Can someone give me other questions, examples? Ah, of other okay. questions? Did you do exercise? No. Did you do exercise yesterday? Good. Did you go to the gym? Did you go to the gym? Good, good. Did you did you parents live with you? Did your parents live with you? Uh -huh. Pero estás preguntando si vivieron contigo antes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay, yes. Do you have to, okay. you have to move to the work? Did you have to move to work? Okay. What else? William? Did you drink water? Did you, did you drink water? Okay, good. Drink water. Drink, tomar, yes? Water, drink, drink. Yes, drink. water. Mm -hmm. Very good. Gladys, examples of questions? 
usando were you? Esa era mi confusión ahorita. Era con did o era con was where? No, era con were you. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, uh, sorry. sorry. <risa> Mire, está siempre en el pasado, pero el ejercicio era usar el verb to be, right? Where? Where was. Ok. Were okay. you, eh, questions, uh -huh. uh, Katia me hizo algunas, Katia. Were you happy yesterday? Yes, were you happy yesterday? Ok, good, good. Where she, where she early was yesterday? She, was she early? Okay. Was, was, was she early uh -huh. yesterday? Uh -huh. Yes, very good. What else? Teacher. Yes. Y no podría ser, digamos, were you, you yesterday? Were you what? Young? Young de saltar. Ah. Where you jump yesterday? No. no. Where you jump yesterday? No. Ahí tendrías que usar Did you jump yesterday? Did you jump yesterday? Mm -hmm. Así sería. Ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿Hay algo importante en el video que sería bueno tocarlo? En el video de, de el que acaba de explicar esa lección. ¿Hay algo bien importante? Deja ver si lo encuentro. Solo se lo voy a leer. Ok, dice. We use was or were, en, en el ejercicio que estamos haciendo, to express feelings, sentimientos, conditions, condiciones, estados de ánimo y de, descripciones. So, for example, were you happy? Feeling, right? Yes. <laughs> Were you full yesterday? Estaba lleno. <laughs> Were you... Um, Were you... Um, sí, sería como feelings. Mayormente lo usamos para feelings. Were you sad yesterday? Were you angry? Were you... you Con Huh? Were you sick? Enfermo? Were you sick? Uh -huh. Una condición. Correct. Conditions. Were you sick yesterday? Very good. So, es, es un detallito que lo que acaba de decir William. So, para contestarte, William, si voy a usar una acción que hizo la persona, como es jump, bien. did. Uh -huh. Es bien. Yes. Okay. Teacher, and is correct say, where were you Yesterday, algo así como, yes. where were you uh -huh. yesterday? Solamente que allí estás iniciando con el WH. WH, yes. Where, ¿dónde? Where, where, y allí usas WH, where, y después, where, where. Mm -hmm. Past to, uh, verb to be past. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so yes. Importante lo que trajo William, lo que él, él, él eh, se dio cuenta de allí. For actions, I use did. Okay. For uh, emotions, feelings, conditions, you can use where. Were you happy? Were you sad yesterday? Okay. Very good. Do you have any, any further questions? No? I need to practice a lot of this mm -hmm. class because I, I don't, no me queda claro. No, me confunde. Okay. Uh, remember that ya el did, ya lo vieron. Yes. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Lo vimos en 2.4. Mm -hmm. Pero en so, qué contexto vamos a utilizar este, este, it was an... eh, Es lo que le, le acabo de explicar a William. So, Uh -huh. Sí, entiendo, entiendo, pero por ejemplo, uh -huh. sí, para decir sentimientos, condiciones, uh -huh. ok, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, were you sad? Were you Happy. in love? Tired? Were you tired yesterday? Uh -huh. Very good. Eh, so, ¿Y tiene algún link donde podamos practicar eso, teacher? 
No, fíjate que did, hay muchas preguntas con did, pero el verb to be, was, and were, no encontré en línea. Mm. So, 2.4 es uh, did. Mm -hmm. Esta que, que acabamos de ver ahorita, 2.8, es questions with was and were. Okay. So, les puedo dar ejercicios de did, porque vi bastante en línea. Pero de was and were questions, casi no vi. No sé por qué. Uh -huh. eh, es el did y el was, were. Uh -huh. Se usan cada vez que vayamos a hacer preguntas. Sí. Que no sean con we, we H. Sí, con WH, correcto. <coughs> Solamente que si vas okay. a hacer preguntas, what did and was and were tiene que ir al, al inicio de la oración. Ok, siempre que sean en pasado. Mm, sí. ¿O hay, hay otros auxiliares para hacer preguntas en el pasado? Have también. Uh, no, sorry, had. El pasado de had, de have, sería had. H-A-D. H-A-D. Had. Okay. Okay. Eh, también es otro verbo auxiliar. Okay. Uh, tener. Ah, tener. Uh -huh. okay. Teacher, eh, para practicar también es el 2.11, que es solo para uso de was y was. Mm, sí, ahorita vimos 2.8, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. El siguiente. Eh, no, perdón, el video que vimos ahorita es 2.10. El que acabamos de, el que acabamos de ver, 2.10. So, 2.4 es did. Eh, uh -huh. Questions with did, 2.4. Eh, 2.6 es solamente un listening exercise. Uh -huh. 2.8 era solamente reconocer el was el word in the conversation. Uh -huh. 2.10 es la que acabamos de hacer ahorita. Questions with no, was yo, and were. Ajá. No, yo le digo para Carlita porque ahí va a practicar en el 2.11. Ah, ok, ah, ok. Sí, ajá. sí, ya lo entiendo. Sí. En el 2.11 va, va a practicar un poquito. Ahí was hay un knowledge check. Uh -huh. No encontré ejercicios con was and were. Uh -huh. Solo me salían con did. Ok. Pero les puedo mandar okay. eso si, si quieren. Did. Yes. Ok. Ok, I'll send, you, I'll send you exercises for did. Ok. All right. I want to show you something. Tengo un minuto. I want to show you something. Eh, eh, sorry, sorry, the question. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. ¿Dónde, dónde eh, nos puede recomendar algún lugar donde hayan tutoriales de pronunciación? Eh, sí, solamente ah, por, por la clase que eh, perdón, ahora. solamente pronunciación es solamente a través de videos y el mejor lugar es YouTube. Sí, correcto. YouTube. Ah, ok, ok. YouTube. Solamente que ahorita sí, okay. no se enfoquen okay. mucho en la pronunciación. You know? Don't focus too much no, on the pronunciation. Cultura. Yes, the structure right now. Vocabulary, vocabulary and structure. That is important. Ok. Eh, tengo un minuto. Les voy a enseñar tres formas de, de responder. Were you working in the computer yesterday? Number one, you can say yes. Number two, yes, I was. Number three, yes, I was working in the computer yesterday. The long. The long, long, long. <laughs> Three forms. Three forms. Yes, I was. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can also use negative. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's the same. Yes. Yes, I was. Yes, I was working in the computer yesterday. Okay. So not three forms. All right. Very good. So I have to go to the next. But um, I, I will put exercises for did. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, okay. Very good. Have a good night, good everybody. Night. Okay, okay, take good care. Good night. Take okay. care of the house if you can. Wash your hands.
a lot. Be careful. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye-bye.